guys, today I want to share with you guys my journey to getting to college. So like when I first got into high school, like it wasn't until my senior year that I was like applying for school. But it was never like, oh, I'm going to go to college kind of thing. It was more because I was running cross country and like the people I was hanging around with, like they were applying for college. So like to me, it made sense that I should apply to college. I don't think I had that in my mind because I was the only one in my family to go to college. So come senior year, I think my personal statement was done because I was in a program called the Immokalee Foundation. And so I had my personal statement done. And so like, I was like, okay, I need to get into college. But I didn't really have like no, no idea how to apply for school no idea how I was gonna pay for it and so like okay so like I think there was an assembly like for about the scholarships that we could apply for I don't remember but it came from my counselor so the story was like okay so this guy applied for a scholarship that was only for girls and so no girls applied and he got the scholarship so anyways like I applied for like so many scholarships not even if like not even thinking if I would qualify for them, if that makes any sense. And so, like, for the first scholarship I applied for, I kind of figured, like, what they were going to be asking for were just, like, personal statement, grades, transcripts, your resume, right? So I had all that, and that was the first scholarship. And so, like, I don't know, like, from there, like, I just started thinking, like, well... If I'm gonna go to college I better start applying for all the scholarships I can right so here I still have this folder actually from high school so like to me like applying for college scholarships you can kind of like a system to me so in this binder in this folder I carried like my letters of recommendation my transcripts my resume, scholarships, applications. Actually, I have some. Like, I have, like, my community service hours and, like, everything here. Like, I have my resume from high school. And so, like, that was how I applied for college, right? That's how, like, that was my way, like, thinking, like, I was going to go to college because I was going to get scholarships. Okay, so, like, obviously, I ran cross country at FGCU and... Like, after talking to the coach, I, like, after really committing to FGCU, like, that was the only school that I was looking at, right? Because, like, I was loyal to them. I, like, I gave my word that I was going to go there. So, like, there was no other option for me because I had given my word. And plus, I really wanted to go there because she was the first one that came up to me and saw potential. Like, I saw as she was the one that saw potential in me at first. So, that's why I wanted to go there. And also, okay, so like, I applied, I ended up applying for this scholarship that I was like directly, for, like only for FGCU. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna apply for it. So I ended up applying for it. And I go to the interview and like, I share my story. And I was like, okay. Okay, it's so like, I didn't. Every time I would go in a scholarship interview, like, I wouldn't think I was going to get the scholarship. I was just focused on, like, portraying myself as someone who deserved the scholarship because ultimately, like, I believe that I did deserve it because I had worked so hard. And so, I I applied for, I went to the interview, I applied for it. Um, actually, Ms. Moss took me, my counselor at the time. And, like, a few weeks from there, she called me down to her office and... And I received an email from the like the scholarship person that was in charge. Yeah. And she was like, okay, you're our first, like, um, you're our first choice, but we need an acceptance letter. Okay. So, you know, at the moment, like, I was like, there's no way I cannot get into FGCU. Like, I'm going to run there. I have the grades. But I was really bad at math. And... My ACT math score, I don't remember what it was. It must have been like low. It was low actually. 
but I don't remember like exactly like what it was. I just remember it was slow. Okay, so so I called out the coach Goodson from from FGCU, and I was like, "Hey, coach, like they just called me. Like I can get a full ride because through FGCU I was only getting like a partial scholarship, and so I needed to cover the other expenses." So, anyways. I called her and she was like, okay, okay, like, let me see what I can do. So, like, she called, like, I don't know what she did. And, like, I ended up, like, getting, like, my acceptance letter within a few weeks. And so, that's how, like, I was able to get a full ride to FGCU. But the way the scholarship worked was that every other scholarship would be applied first. And then they would cover the rest. So I had a, other scholarships in addition to that one I had. And so I was able to get into college because of that. Like, I, would, I, I can say that my parents would have helped me pay for college, but I didn't want to put that on them. So to me, like, that was the only way out at the time. Like, you know, school was the only thing I knew. So it was my job to get me there. And th I'm sharing this story with you guys because many times we stop ourselves from doing things that we want to do, that we should do, even the hard stuff, because we think we are not ready. And honestly, nobody was born ready. You know, we have this mentality like, okay, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait, I should be ready, this, I should be ready. When I, when this time ha when this when this happens, I'm gonna buy this house. When this happens, I'm gonna go to college. And it always happened like like we have this mentality that we need to be ready. When in reality, getting ready is a process. We become experts. We become the best person of ourselves by working on it daily. We don't become successful overnight. We don't become the best person overnight. Like. It takes time and whatever it is that you're trying to do that you want to do, I encourage you to go do it because while you're waiting to get ready, somebody else is working on doing that and they're beating you to it. I mean, if, if one thing I take from cross country is being competitive, like I really enjoy being competitive and I miss running. So I might go, I like might start like doing five kiss here and there for like, to be competitive not because like I want to do really good because I don't have the time right now to train but whatever it is that you want to do like just go do it like you only have one journey in this life like make it the best like guys like wake up like I'm I was be, I've been sleeping for this past like months I've been in like carbonation or something like a bear. But like I truly encourage you guys to go out there, live your life to your fullest potential. And I'm not there yet. You know, it's a process for me. And I wanna show you guys this process. And if you guys would like to keep tagging along with me in this journey, please subscribe to my channel. And next week, or actually this Thursday, fingers crossed. I will be bringing to you guys the story of one of my friends who has been struggling with depression and how she has kind of worked with it and um, just try to bring that story to you guys and if you guys, if you guys will like it.